Hello, people of the internet. My name is Anna B, and I'm here to talk to you about some of my favorite foundations for people who have dark, deep skin tones like myself. Now, I know that for girls who have like, like three shades lighter than me, they already have a hard time finding foundation. So you can already imagine what it's like for girls with my skin tone. So I'm going to talk about some of my favorite, you know, foundations that I like and that I have that I can share with some of you out there. For reference, my skin tone is like an NW55. So if you are an NW55, and maybe a little, a little lighter or darker, you might be able to um, make use of some of the recommendations I'm gonna make to you today. Okay, so the first foundation I'm gonna talk to you guys about is a powder foundation. And I'm not really like a powder foundation kind of person, but I like it enough to use it, right? This is the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation in Deepest Deep. And this is the darkest shade they have in their line. Um, if you're someone who likes very natural looking like finish on a foundation, this is it. Matte, it's not super matte, but it's not really, it's not a dewy finish at all. It's very um, non-shine. So yes, matte is the word. It's matte, natural finish, really good foundation. I love it. Um, in terms of wear, it's not necessarily like an all day type of situation, but it's like that 9 to 5 shift, you know what I mean? It's pretty good. So, uh, if you're somebody who who likes to wear makeup like, often, like every day, I think this is a good foundation because it has a very natural finish. It's very, very lightweight, and it's just really nice. I like it. Um, they go as dark as, you know, my skin tone over here. So um, if you're someone who's like my skin tone or maybe a little lighter, you should be able to find your shade in this foundation. The only thing that I, pro I probably do have with it is that, yeah, it doesn't last like all, all day. And I'm an all, all day kind of person. And also you would have to like touch up on it. Like it's not one of those foundations that will stay matte all day. Obviously, you know, as time goes by, you will get a little oily. So you will need to touch up a bit, keep your blotting tissues around keep keep your blotting tissues on hand because I me mean, I have normal skin but my skin does produce you know a bit of oil when I have makeup on like it probably is now and um, when I wear this in the middle of the day like you know when it's a little bit past that nine to five I have to you know touch up on the makeup so you might want to carry it around for a touch up but this is bare minerals matte deep is deep Good foundation overall. If you like powder foundations, this is all you. I suggest, you know, my suggestion, I'm not like a professional here. My suggestion is that um, use a, a very like dense brush when you put it on. So I use, I use this kind of brush. It's This brush is by Julia's Place and I use like a, a very dense brush when I put it on. So it works. I like it. So this next foundation is by Clinique and it's actually one of their more higher sellers, higher sellers, oh gosh, it's one of their best sellers, best selling foundations, apparently. And um, it's a liquid foundation and it's called Even Better, it's the Clinique Even Better Liquid Foundation and I'm in the color Espresso. Um, this one's pretty good, pretty good, it has a dewy finish. Honestly, during the summer and hotter months, I'm not really into like... I'm not into like dewy finish kind of foundation because my face gets oily, a little oily during the day. So a dewy finish when you first put it on plus the oil throughout the day is not a good look and I'm not into that. But during the winter when my skin's a bit more dry, this is perfect. Like when you put it on, it has a dewy finish, it doesn't make you look dry because I find that matte, matte um, foundation when you put it on makes you look, look a little bit more dry and you kind of have to wait. Because during the winter, my skin does produce oil, but not as not as fast as it does during the summer, right? So when I put on matte foundations during the winter, I look dry for some time. So I really do like this one. It gives you a dewy finish. It looks natural, skin-like. It lasts a pretty long time, you know? Put on the, good, the right kind of primer. Right, set your face right. You can get this to go past that 9 to 5 shift. Go a little over time. It's good. I like it. So I definitely recommend it. It's actually, when I first bought it, it was marketed, I think it's more marketed towards people who have hyperpigmentation, which is something I do have around my mouth. It tends to be more, I have dark, my skin is more dark around my mouth than on other parts of my face. I'm just not all one color, so like, this is perfect. Um, when 
the lady, I, I got it from Ulta, so when the lady put it on my face, she just put it on the perimeter of my face and she said, oh yeah, that should be good enough, but honestly, I put it everywhere when I put it on. So, definitely get this. You can do around the perimeter or you can put it all over the face. It still gives a good look. It's a nice foundation. And it's, I believe, like $25, $27, so it's not that bad in terms of price. And it goes as dark as my skin tone. You know, yeah, definitely if you're of a deep, dark you know, complexion, definitely go check out Clinique's even better. It's a good foundation. I like it. Now this next foundation is also by Clinique and it's um, their Pore Refining Solutions Liquid Foundation. Now this foundation, I think, I'm not sure if they still sell it. I think they do sell it. It's just that I haven't seen it on, like, I've been to like, um, Ulta's website, I think. I forgot which website. It was like a makeup website. And they would have the even better, but they wouldn't have this one. Anyways, they're the same price. Um, they I think they have the same colors because I'm espresso in this one and I'm espresso in this one. And this one is also a very good foundation. It lasts very long. You know, it can do overtime, and uh, it's more of a matte finish than even better. So during the summer months, I really like this foundation. When it's summer, you will hear me say that I like this one and I don't like even better. But during the winter, you hear me say that I like even better and I don't like this one. So I just I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's a good foundation. Lasts you long. It matches my skin tone very well. Um, it's a... I wish I could like kind of squirt it out. I mean, I can. I'll do that with the even better. Because I don't have much of that one left. So I'm going to just... It's like... Bruh, come out! Here we go. If you guys want me to swatch. It's, it's a really good... That's even better, which is very much, it's, it's the same formula, I believe, just that this is matte. And it's very, very, it matches my skin tone very well. It's a very good foundation. And I like it. In terms of wear, in terms of like, you know, does it stay matte all day? It doesn't stay matte all day, but it does give you a flawless finish. You might want to bring some blotting tissue with you. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. It's a really good makeup brand Clinique is just a good brand in general to be quite honest when it comes to skincare when it comes to makeup when it comes to everything Clinique is just a good brand so definitely get you one of these you'll love it um and it goes all the way down to espresso so if you're a, a woman of color they have a lot of different colors and you, you will definitely be able to find your hopefully <laughs> then you should be able to find your shade they have a lot of different colors out there now um this last foundation is Mm, it's a foundation that I have a I wouldn't say a love-hate relationship not a love-hate relationship with but I'm uneasy about it but I love it at the same time now this foundation is Sasha's second skin foundation right <sighs> okay so this foundation in terms of color I don't think it matches me perfectly to be quite honest me I like my foundation to match perfectly because you know um, when it comes to being a darker complexion like you know First of all, being a black person, you know, uh, African American woman, uh, it's hard enough to find uh, your your makeup. It's hard enough to find your 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 skin tone in stores in general. You know what I mean? But being someone who's of the darker spectrum of black people, it is even harder. So that being said, what the heck is on this? Um, this foundation is. It's, it's, it's catered, the brand itself is catered to people of darker skin, which is good, but it tends to have more yellow based undertones on it, and I don't know if I'm yellow enough for this, you know what I mean? I put it on and it seemed like it was a tad bit too light on me, that's what I thought. And I blended it in and I just put it on anyways and I did my whole face one day and I and I looked I looked at my face and I was like, mm -mm, this one looks right, but it was too late because I was out in the public, right? So I asked all my friends and they said it looked fine, it looked like my skin tone. So, to kind of test it out, I, uh, I wore it today, right? And you guys tell me what you think. I wore this foundation today, and tell me what you think about it. Do you think it's a good, it's a good match? Do you think, do I look like I'm wearing the wrong shade foundation? Please, let me know, you know, in the comments below, please. But anyways, beside color, um, this is an amazing foundation. It's, like, beautiful. 
it's not called it's Sasha's second skin foundation and it's not called second skin for like no reason it's literally like second skin you put it on and it looks so natural it has a very good finish really really good coverage like you can you can make this up to very high coverage actually it's really good um I actually I got this kind of like recently so like maybe a month or two ago so it was transitioning into fall but I've heard that this foundation does really really well in hot weather and I've yet to try that out because it's getting colder outside however you know it's doing really well for me right now and I think out of all the foundations that I showed you guys here this has I believe the best wear like it lasts all day all day yeah like I, I don't I, I don't remember a time where I wore this foundation and then like near the end of the day looked in the mirror and I'm like mm, I, I can see some of my skin you know what I mean? Not that I hate my skin. I think I have pretty decent skin. But this foundation is really good. I love it. For those of you out there, if you're someone who has deep, deep dark skin tone like myself, um, and you have yellow undertones, this is up your alley. Go and get it because it's really good. And what? It's like twenty dollars. Out of all the foundations here, this is this is I think the cheapest one. So um, it's a very good foundation. Very good coverage. Good finish. The finish is not really matte, but it's not super dewy. It's dewy, but not as dewy as even better, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's a really good foundation, and I hope, I hope, I hope they come up with kind of like more. I know, am I asking for too much? Nah, I'm not asking for too much because I'm going to give you my money. So I think they should come up with more um, foundations with this particular foundation with different kind of undertones, you know what I mean? So hopefully they can, Sasha Cosmetics, if you're seeing this, uh, definitely do that because this is more... I think this is very yellow like it's it's very oh yeah it's very more like yellow good gosh whoa actually I don't know if you can see this but if you see it on my hand on this side I have the Sasha and on this side I have like the even better and I don't know if you can see it you probably can't see it but Sasha one is yellow and it's a little lighter actually I do think it's a little lighter but tell me if you think it's fine a lot of my friends say it's, it's okay but yeah, those are the foundations that I have that I like. So I hope you found this video helpful because I know that um, it's really hard, honestly, to find like good foundation for people of dark, like really dark, deep skin tones like myself. Like, I don't know what it is, but foundation companies must think we don't want to be beat. Like, like I don't want to be, I, I mean, I do want to, I want a foundation too. But anyways, um... Yeah, so hopefully, oh, hopefully someone out there found this video useful. I made this video because I was like, bruh, honestly, I don't know so many people on YouTube who are like exactly like my skin tone. Like, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm like an NW55 in MAC. So, you know, there's not so many, I, I don't know, if you guys know any, please let me, hit me to their channel so I can watch them more. But there's not so many, so I wanted to just kind of like, I guess, make a video. For those of you out there who are, you know, like NW55, 58, 50, who are darker skin like myself, um, that really don't see many people, I, who don't see people like them on YouTube doing videos, yeah, I just wanted to make a video, I guess, for you guys so y'all can have an idea of what other foundations are out there for you besides MAC, you know what I mean? And I know that there are some. I, I'm, I'm glad I hear, see a lot of brands like Black Up and Black Opal and um, so many brands, and I'm actually going to try some of those because I I went on a journey to look for a good foundation so I'm waiting to get some of those foundations and try them out so hopefully I like them and hopefully I can come back on here and share them with you guys but these are the foundations that I have that I really do like that I wanted to share with you guys hopefully somebody out here found this video useful yeah I tried to keep um, I try to keep the prices relatively cheap not really relatively cheap but you know we have the highest the more expensive one was the bare mineral one. Um, foundation and the cheaper one was Miss Sasha. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Miss Sasha. Miss Miss Sasha over here. So yeah, I tried to keep the, the prices a bit more, you know, affordable. But yeah. Um still tell me below what you guys like, what your what your suggestions are. Um any preferably drugstore because I wanna see if there are more drugstore foundations that have like shades for deeper, darker skin tones. Um but yeah, I know tons of high-end brands that cater to my skin tone. But you know, 
I don't mind spending money like that on foundation, but not everybody wants to spend about $50 on a foundation. But anyways, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, talk to me, interact with me, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me anywhere. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Love, peace, and blessings to everybody. Bye!